The family of a man shot and killed on a DeKalb County interstate hoping a key piece of evidence leads police to a killer. Channel 2's Matt Johnson live at DeKalb Police Headquarters tonight. Matt, he was killed while he was at work. His family says he was just one exit away from where he was heading when someone shot and killed him for reasons that are still unknown. But unlike other interstate shootings, police in this case have a picture of a car that could break the case wide open. I didn't believe it. I, I'll be honest with you. Brittany Height has seen her younger brother, Daniel Booth, travel the world as a Navy technician. He felt driven to serve, and he did for eight years. And she's seen him raise a daughter here in Georgia, a daughter who hopes to go on to do great things, things that Daniel will never get to see. She's going to live the rest of her life without her father. 40-year-old Daniel Booth died Monday when DeKalb County police say someone shot and killed him on I-285. It happened near I-675 at around 2.30 in the afternoon as Booth was working and on his way to repair a conveyor belt. We don't have an answer. And we don't know why. Height and her family says they haven't received any information about what may have made someone shoot and kill him in his work truck. They say road rage is a possibility. He may not have even known that he did anything. That That's what makes it even worse. Police are looking for whoever was driving this car with a unique sticker or emblem on the back. They say they want to question the driver about what happened on Monday. And I hope that the police do everything they can to stop this. For everybody. We've reported on multiple deadly interstate shootings in the metro over the years. These three families are still waiting for answers, too. I'm very angry, but I'm trying to direct my anger towards a positive thing, which is not only getting justice for him, but getting justice for the other people who've had to experience this as well. For Daniel Booth's family, they say they're hopeful police can find his killer. And they're even more cautious now behind the wheel. You don't think that someone's going to pull out a gun and, and kill you. You certainly don't. And Matt, have police uh, said that car might actually be the suspect's? Justin, right now, police haven't said if they believe the suspect was driving that car or possibly a witness. They just want to talk to that driver who may have some information about what happened. But unlike so many other interstate shootings, there is evidence in this case, and the family is hopeful that leads to something. Justin. Yeah, hopefully that picture can lead that family to some answers. Thank you, Matt.